let's make some fall inspired resin hair clips. First, you just take some clear resin and you add it into your hair clip molds. I like to use this dropper, especially for the thinner pieces because I'm really bad at pouring resin and it makes it a lot easier for me. These are some orange dried flowers I purchased on Amazon. I'm just gonna tear them into little pieces that are little enough to fit into the mold. I like to use tweezers, it just makes the process a lot easier. Sometimes um, I'll use toothpicks, but these are, the shapes of these, it just makes it easier with the tweezers. And just put them in the resin however you want to, because I think that is the fun part. You get to make your design. Any fall colors would work. I just went with the orange theme for this because I thought it was cute. Now that the flowers are all in, I'm going to take some of this foil. It's not really gold, it's more of a bronzy color, but I thought it looked very fall, so I'm going to add it into my orange flower pieces. And I'm going to just put it wherever I think it looks good. It's up to you. And with the foil pieces, you'll notice they really want to stick to whatever you're using and they also want to keep floating on the top. So just make sure you get the resin really on top of that so it will go into the resin and go in the bottom of it. And just tear it into tiny little pieces. And also a side note, when you're using tweezers like this, don't forget when you're done with your project to wipe those tweezers off or the resin will stick to them and ruin it. Now, they have actually already dried overnight and I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the mold. They're not completely cured yet so you did see that bend so what I'm doing as I'm taking them out is I'm pressing them down flat so they will continue curing flat. And you see how there's a lot of see-through places in these hair clips? I did that on purpose because the backs of them are gold and I wanted those to peek through and I think it'll look really cute. Once you have them all demolded, check the edges and if there's any sharp pieces you can just cut those off. Be very careful because you have to have a very sharp pair of scissors. These are actually a seam ripper scissors from a sewing machine. And once you've done that, you just take your backs and you have to find the one that goes with your shape beret of the beret you, that you used. So for that, that's the rectangle and then this is the triangle looking one. So now I'm going to use this UV resin that I just purchased on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. And I'm going to put a good healthy bit on the back of the hair clip. And you're going to spread it out using a toothpick. There are a lot of ways to do this, but I find this the cleanest way. And the way that there's the least mistakes made because I've tried it and it, I've ruined clips and that gets expensive. 
So this is the easiest way to do it. You can do them two at a time if you want, but you wanna set it for about 30 seconds and then open it like this so that doesn't stick into the resin and do that for another 30 seconds and then you're going to leave them on longer in groups and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So this is the other shape. I find this shape to be a little bit harder just because I don't want the resin to spill over on the edges. And then very carefully place that on top of there. And again, set it with the UV light pretty much immediately so your resin isn't running over the sides. So this is what I meant. You're gonna do it in groups. You're gonna do it for a couple minutes on each side. So a couple minutes while it's on the back, a couple minutes on each side. And you could do them in groups like that all at once. And this is what they look like. See how the gold is kind of peeking through that clear part of the resin? They're very cute. And I think they definitely look fall. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe because I give a lot more resin tutorials, tutorials on my channel and some sewing as well. And I hope you guys have a happy fall.